Hi guys, it's me Rochelle. I just discovered vlogging so I thought I would give you guys a treat and let you guys see a face to go with all those crazy blogs that you guys are always reading about me. Uh, the reason why I decided to do a vlog is because I was talking to my niece recently and I was telling her about this really cute hairstyle that I taught myself how to do online. It's an actual hair bow. It's really simple to do and I'm obsessed with it. And uh, she asked me how to do it so I would figured I would just show everybody how to do it. And it's super easy. All you're going to need is one scrunchie and a couple of these bad boys. Bobby pins. I don't know who Bobby is but thank you Bobby. You saved my hair a lot of times. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is put your hair in a ponytail, like so. Um, the higher the ponytail, the more visible your hair bow will be. It's up to you where you want your bow to be. Some people want it in the middle. Me, on the other hand, I'm a little quirky, so I like it on the side. Wink, wink. Uh, so let's... Excuse me, choked on my own saliva there. Let's see how high this ponytail can go. 80s baby right here, gotta represent, you know. So once you get your ponytail to where you want it to be, all you have to do is start wrapping it around. Once you wrap it around a couple of times, when you're about to finish, you're going to want to stop halfway, like so. This is actually what I look like when I'm running around town because I really don't care. Messy hair, I don't care. But anyways, for the sake of this vlog, I'm going to continue on. The next step, once you got it in the position you want it, is you're going to want to make little moose horns. And just, you know, I kind of did it already, but you want to tighten it a little bit more. So you got yourself a little quinceanera crown or something. What is that? Like a waterfall? Peacock? And what you're left with is a nice pretty little tail action. I like some tail? Right there. What you want to do with this tail is actually just... Don't know if you can see it. Pull it over and then wrap it around. Wrap it around like so. Yes, love it. Love it. Pin it. Shape it. Love it. Okay. Yes, I think we got it. Okay. Pin it. Urgh. And then you're just going to want to just pin the sides. I think, mean, to be honest with you, this is the best one I've done yet. What? It takes a disaster to get it right. Isn't that what I say in my blogs? Making mistakes. Way to learn. Then just shape it. Shape it. Love it. And then there you go. You got yourself a gorgeous hair bow. So I think the trick is make sure you get yourself a really sturdy and good scrunchie because that's probably what I was doing wrong this whole time. There you go. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that. I'm like really loving my bow right now. If you guys want to really make it cute, you know what? You can even add some bang action. Yeah, let's, let's see how this would look with bangs. Yes, I love bangs. Some people might say, you know what? They're just mustaches for your forehead, but I don't care. So there you go. You could put bangs with it. Voila, voila. You could do the full, let's see if this will work. Sideways, sideway bangs. A little sideway action. For those people that just aren't sure, just wanna go sideways. Or, do you wanna be, you know, at school when you're like studying, and you're like, just leave me alone, I'm studying. Throw some glasses in there. Look some smart. Do I look smart? You want to be extra cool. 
add a little ukulele action. Just kidding. No, don't do that. That's just too nerdy. If you're saying, Michelle, I hate bangs. Why are you going to put bangs? Nah. Well, you don't have to put bangs. Don't worry about it. All you got to do, just like that and slick it. Slick it back. No worries. Don't worry about it. You get another pin. That's what I said. You never know when you're going to need this. You get another pin. Done. And then you have this really cute hairstyle. You can dress it up, dress it down, do whatever you want with it. Super easy to do. Takes less than a minute. And that's pretty much all I want to say on that matter. I see you guys uh, checking out my shirt right there. Just so you know, my eyes are up here. But uh, if you were wondering, this is actually the logo to my online store uh, that I created with my husband. Uh, if you want to check it out, we're doing really great things with it and it's a really awesome store. Starting this month, uh, any purchases that you make, 10% of it will be going towards feeding the children around the world. So that's awesome. If you want to know more about it, I actually blogged about it recently. Or you could go to the site at www.marmarstoys.com. Check out the blog that I did there. Alright, until next time.